Hi, my name's Dylan. I'm looking at the pre-apprentice scheme at Citicare. I really want to get into the automotive engineering side of things. I'm looking forward to spending some time at Citicare. It's early morning in Christchurch, and many of Citicare's vehicles are taking to the road, heading out to maintain parks, lay drains, fix roads, or sweep streets. With operational bases right around the country and 1,300 plus staff, Citicare is a leading New Zealand infrastructure service provider. The Christchurch Milton Street Depot is also a major centre for maintenance, and inside these workshops almost 900 different types of machinery and automobiles are serviced. Mark Ford was workshop manager here for six years. As you will have been aware, City Care played quite a major role in the, in the recent earthquakes here in Christchurch, and uh, the workshop in particular had a, had a fairly large role in maintaining all the equipment that was run 24 uh, as a day, obviously seven days a week during that period, and uh, they really come into their own role. In this particular part of the workshop, we have automotive electricians, uh, heavy field mechanics, uh, and small plant mechanics, and they undertake an array of uh, repairs from big heavy engine overhauls down to basic servicing. So our expectation is they get a wide range of skills when they work in this area of the business. How are you going? I'd like to introduce you to Dylan, a student who's considering a career as an um, automotive mechanic. Daniel Bryce, a CityCare apprentice, has had a call that one of their big mowers won't start. Dylan and Dan head off to troubleshoot. We've got a tractor here that's, uh, he's obviously left his lights on and uh, flattened his battery, so we just need to give him a jump start. Away we go. Something special about CityCare is that they jump start many young careers with an award winning pre apprenticeship scheme. For someone like Dylan, keen on cars, the scheme will get them on the road to a job. And they could work for up to a year here in City Care and work in a number of different divisions. And we give them the opportunity to work in uh, roading construction, traffic management, waste and water, uh, trees, parks. Uh, there's a number of areas that they, they would be interested in. Joe Dixon is a City Care pre apprentice. So, Joe, it's your first time climbing the tree. How'd you feel? Cool experience, bro. Feeling a wee bit on edge at one stage. Then on the way back down, felt we weren't more comfortable. We would sit them down at the end of the, the year and we would look to see what areas that they show an interest in. We quite often try to match our students with areas that they're quite passionate or show a good interest in and then we would look to set them in as a, uh, into formal qualifications which obviously uh, automotive industry we would be using them through the workshop and they would be matched with the MITO trainers. Daniel, who already has an advanced automotive electrician certificate, is presently studying for a national certificate in automotive heavy engineering. Hi right, Dylan, this is our new ZW100 Hitachi loader that we've just had delivered. Before it heads out onto the service, we have to just check everything's working okay. As an automotive heavy engineer, our apprentices uh, have a choice of specialising in three areas really. Uh, agricultural equipment, road and transport and plant and equipment. Looks like we've got a park light out here too, which we'll have to fix before we send it out into the field. Undo the lens there. Oh, now I see what the problem is, Dylan. Someone's put the light on back because that's why we couldn't see it before at the front. So when they were making this guard up, someone's just put it around the wrong way. What do you think we're going to do to fix it? All we have to do is just turn it around. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. With the easy fix done, the shiny new loader's heading off to its first job. CityCare has a, a large range of machines throughout its organisation, and particularly now since the earthquakes uh, happened in Christchurch, uh, we've had to have a large buy-up of specialist equipment, uh, everything from a Masco Flex truck worth around a million dollars, uh, right down to our five-ton diggers. What work does CityCare have to do with the earthquake recovery? Well, primarily we were uh, the first to respond to the waste and water. Uh, the city dropped uh, a lot of water throughout the, the entire city and we were responsible for uh, main, actually trying to put that water back on. Yeah. A number of our staff probably worked up to close to 100 hours and, and of course they were dealing with the emotional trauma of um, the earthquake themselves and a, a number of people um, lost their homes. Uh, so, so it was really uh, you know, a huge challenging time for everybody involved. And as you can see, as we're driving through this, uh, this particular area was uh, devastated by uh, the earthquake and very badly affected this Bexley area. You can see we had liquefaction right through the roads and obviously through their houses, as you can see from this. This, this is really almost fully abandoned, yeah. this particular area of Christchurch. Now this might be just one I need to take. 
Mark gets a call. Not far away, there's a truck that's broken down, and apprentice Dan is heading out to fix it. So you've got an overheating problem. Uh, what's actually happened today? The buzz has come on, and the gauge has gone right into the red. OK, Dylan, we'll, we'll have a put the cab over and we'll see what's happened here, OK? Let's get up. Cool. Pull this lever out, so flick that safety latch there, and oh, then, cool. yep, flick it up, and then pull that lever out, yep. There you go, and push that button. We'll see what happens. With such a large amount of equipment at City Care, uh, there's a huge diversity in the skill sets that are needed, and technology is playing a very, very big part. And that's one of the challenging aspects of becoming an apprentice nowadays is actually keeping up with technology, and keeping abreast of it all the way through. When the vehicle's hot, we can't just pop open the cap, so we just need to have a visual check. Why, why can't we pop open the cap? Because there's a lot of pressure as as the vehicle heats up, it creates pressure in the cooling system, oh, okay. and if you open the cap. It will just burst open and you could damage your eyes or yeah, yeah. burn yourself like that. Next thing, probably look around and just um, check your visual check, see if we've got any water leaks anywhere. The qualities I would look for in a, in a young person nowadays is certainly uh, someone with a, who's quite passionate about it and has a, a really good attitude and, and an ability to be able to learn and, and want to learn and be challenged all the way through his apprenticeship. So everything looks all right up there? Yeah. Can't see any wet, wet no. patches? Looks fine. OK. All right, you get down and um, we'll have a look underneath, eh? Yeah, I think there's some water dripping from there. Oh, there is too. So Dan calls for a tow back to the workshop. The truck will be fixed by tomorrow. Dylan's done extremely well today. He showed uh, good, keen attitude towards the mechanical side of the business. And um, he would be the type of guy that we'd be looking to uh, employ in the future through a MITO apprenticeship. Uh, it's been real well. I've seen a lot of jobs throughout Citicare. I like the idea of fixing up big trucks and I'd like to get into the automotive heavy engineering side of things. There's a heavy engineering qualification available in the National Certificate in Motor Industry. Separate strands are available for agriculture equipment, plant and equipment and road transport. You can learn at your own pace and fit your study in with the demands of your job. CityCare's pre-apprenticeship scheme can lead to a full apprenticeship with MITO qualifications. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.